Hey kids, good morning. We're so glad you have joined us today for our online service. This whole month, we're gonna be talking about Clue, solving the mystery of Easter. We've got some clues we're gonna have to figure out later on. So you're gonna need a pen and a piece of paper or a notebook to keep up with it. But for right now, put everything away. We're all gonna stand up on our feet and worship the Lord. Are you ready to worship with us this morning? Are you ready to shake it?
you guys just love worship. I love worshiping the Lord. Well, we have three clues and they're our last clues for the month to go with our lesson. So let's see what they are. I've got some new recruits this week to help me figure this out because some of our other people, they had no clue what they were talking about. So I'm telling you, I still think the cheerleader thing was it. But anyway, all right, let's see what our clues are. All right, we have fire. Whoa. We have friends and we have power. Wow. I know what it is. I know oh, what it is. Alex knows. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm banking on Alex to get it right because she's like a super smart student. Okay. I, I'm positive I have it though. So there's this very powerful human being. He has a lot of friends and they all have fire powers. All of them. No, 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 yes. no, no. That's definitely not it. Whatever. What this is talking about is it all kind of ties together because when you have friends, it creates this unbreakable, strong, powerful bond and it sparks this flame inside of you. No, sir, that's mm. close, but not it. See, we need the power of friendship when everything in the world is bad and there's like fire everywhere. Everything's we need kind of the power down. of friendship. Everything's breaking down. We just need friendship. I, you know what? Maybe I need new helpers. Maybe you guys can help me figure it out because I don't think they got it. So take a minute, write these down with your journal that you have that you've been keeping, okay? Write these clues down. Pause the video for a minute if you need to. Write them in your journal and then watch this video so hopefully we can get some answers. Stories of the Bible. God sends the Holy Spirit. These are the apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya. So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, Jesus! They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Yeah. Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you! He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, oh, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank 
here. Worshiped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Well, I hope that video helped you understand your clues just a little bit better. But if you're still not there yet, we're going to have a lesson in just a minute. But for now, let's review our verse for the month. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. John 3 dot dot 16. Why don't you take a moment to pause this video and write this verse down under your clues. Now, Y'all repeat after me. God so loved the world. God so loved the world. That he gave his one and only son. That he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him. Anyone who believes in him. Will not die. Will not die. But will have eternal life. But will have eternal life. John 3. John 3. Dot, dot. Dot, dot. 16. 16. Now on the count of three, let's scream it as loud as we possibly can. Are y'all ready? One, two, three. God, God so loved the world, world that, that he gave his one and only son. Anyone, anyone who believes in him will, will not die, die but will have eternal life. life. John 3 dot dot, dot, dot 16. Great job, everyone. Now we're gonna take just a few minutes to worship Jesus. So if you'll put everything away, stand to your feet. We're gonna have a moment of worship. Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. And you have been so, so kind to me.
That is one of my favorite worship songs. I'm so glad you got to sing it today. Let's go back over our clues and see if we can put them together and piece our story together for today. So we have this arm here that represents power. We have a friend and we have fire. So our story today comes from Acts chapter two and we're talking about the Holy Spirit. You see Jesus, after he was crucified, put in the tomb and rose from the dead, he then stayed on earth for a little while and talked to his disciples. And then he took them to a mountain, just like we talked about last week, and he ascended to heaven. And his disciples were sad because Jesus had gone. But you know what? Jesus said, I have to go to heaven because if I don't go, then the helper can't come. Well, they didn't understand what the helper was. And that's where our clues come in because the helper is the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit gives us power. He gives us power over sin. He gives us power to do what God wants us to do. He gives us power to witness like we talked about last week. The Holy Spirit is also our friend. Do you need a friend right now? It's kind of scary time still. Everybody's getting sick and maybe you're dealing with some worry or, or you're scared of something. You know what? That's where the Holy Spirit becomes our friend. And the fire here comes from our story that we talked about in Acts chapter two, when everyone was all together and they began to speak in other tongues and the Holy Spirit came on their head like a flame of fire. I have fire today to kind of illustrate our story. So let's take a look. So on my plate here, I have this tea bag and it's gonna tell us the story about Jesus. I have this in whole, I've taken it apart on my plate. So I'm gonna show it to you piece by piece. The first thing is a label. Jesus had a lot of labels while he was here on earth. As a matter of fact, one of the labels they put over him was on the cross and it said, King of the Jews. Also, my string has fallen off, but that's okay. I'm gonna take it off this one. So we have a string. The string represents when they beat Jesus. They whipped him, they lashed at him, they gave him 40 lashes. Then we have our staple, the staple that holds it together. The staple represents the nails where they punctured him in his hands and in his feet. And then we have all that yucky inside the tea bag. And that represents the sins of the world. Can you see that? That represents the sins of the world. The Bible tells us that Jesus took upon him our punishment, our sins. We've been talking about this, that this month. And so Jesus emptied himself out and he became our sacrifice. He rose from the dead. Watch this. Woo. He went to the mountain with his disciples and he told them to go into the world and preach the gospel. And then he told them to go to a place and stay there. And he ascended into heaven. We're gonna wait a second because that's coming back down except the air vent caught it. So we're gonna catch it over here. You see, Jesus went to heaven, but what came back down was the Holy Spirit. 50 days later, the Holy Spirit came on all the disciples and they began to speak in other tongues. You see, Jesus, while he was here on earth, he was just one person and he could only be in one place at one time. But the Holy Spirit can be in all of us and work in all of, through all of us all at the same time. So Jesus had to go to heaven so that the Holy Spirit could come and live inside of you and me. And the Holy Spirit gives us power to tell others about Jesus and the Holy Spirit is our friend during hard times. You know, some people get nervous about the Holy Spirit because some people call it the Holy Ghost and that sounds scary. But the Holy Spirit is really just that voice inside your head that is always telling you to do the right thing. He's that voice that is always pointing you to Jesus. He's that voice that gives you the strength and the power to be his witness, to tell your friends at school, to tell your friends in your neighborhood about Jesus and what he did for us this Easter. So our bottom line, all these clues tell us our bottom line for this month, which is after Easter, we received Jesus's promise. Easter reminds us that Jesus promised he would always be with us, even to the ends of the earth and He is with us through the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit wants to dwell inside of you today. Boys and girls, I want you to take a minute and read this story with your parents. And if you have questions, ask them. They'll be able to answer it. And if not, then give me a call. I'll try to answer them for you. But I want you to know that the Holy Spirit 
is there for you. He is your comforter, he is your friend, and he is the power inside of you to be able to be his witness. So this Easter, let's always remember that we can receive Jesus's promise. Thanks for worshiping with us. We love and miss you guys very much, but see you next week.